Hey there, Internet. Colt McCandless here. You may recognize me from some of the other videos I've done where I talk about how to write performant Android applications, or I teach you about the concept of data compression using uh, sticky notes and duct tape. But uh, today, we're not here to talk about official things. Instead, we're talking about a little side project I've been working on over the past couple months. Uh, see, I've been dabbling in creating wearable technologies over the past year or so. Uh, during the winter, when my family visited Disneyland for a nice vacation, I strapped EL wire to their jackets so I can see them running around at night. However, for our trip this year in the summer, I needed something a little less uh, bundled up heat owning and a little bit more uh, keeps the sun out of your eyes. And thus, the Talking Spinning BB-8 hat was born. Uh, the entire build is only about $70, and it's easy enough that you can do it at home with some parts you buy off the internet. So for you to be able to build it yourself, let me show you what's inside. So let's start with the BB-8 head itself. Uh, while it's fashionable to 3D print these things nowadays, I lack a 3D printer, so I had to be a little more creative. The head itself is actually cut off the top of one of those novelty BB-8 cups that you can buy inside of the Disney parks. On the inside of the head, I epoxied a servo connector. Looking inside, you can see that the entire build is pretty simple. Uh, the head basically sits on top of the servo and spins independently of the base. Now, since the servo is smaller than the head, it's raised up about a half an inch so that the head can move freely while sitting on top of it. Now, on the side here is the brains of the whole wearable. These are very small versions of Arduino boards called Tiny Duinos. Uh, you can buy them at tinycircuits.com. Each board has a specific purpose, and they all snap together to make a larger circuit. Uh, on the top here is the proto board that the servo is wired directly to. Uh, next to it is the sound output board, accompanied by the SD card, which holds all of the sounds. And the main logic board is at the bottom. Now you can see the headphone jack is plugged directly into the audio board. I uh, stripped off some of the leads and started it directly into a small speaker, which I attached to the other side of the servo and hot glued the whole thing in place just to make it more stable. Now, the battery itself is a simple 150 milliamp hour battery. It gives about four hours of life for this design. I put a little throw switch in the middle of the connection between the circuit and the battery here so that we can turn off the head as we got on and off the rides and whatnot, or if it just starts getting super annoying, which I think it will. Now, the battery is rechargeable, so I cut a small hole in the cardboard, which a USB cable will fit through and connect to the circuit and charge the battery at night. It also allows me to upload code fixes to the board as I'm working on it over time. Circling back around, the hat itself is handmade with some fabric I found at a uh, local fabric store. Uh, my sewing skills obviously aren't up to par. Now, the uh, circuit itself actually just slides up through a small hole that I cut in the top of the hat, and uh, really, the fabric just kind of drapes around it here. Nothing too interesting going on, other than the fact that I've actually added a 16-pound fishing wire and hand-sewed it through the two fabric layers and the cardboard in the middle just to make sure the base is properly attached to the hat and won't fall off or slide around as we're bumping on rides. Now, one of the more important parts of the hat is actually a small service hatch, which I sewed into the bottom of the hat. Uh, this will allow me to actually get a wire through it to push up through that hole in the cardboard so that I can actually charge the whole thing at night. And that's pretty much it. Put a head on and you're ready to go. Now, the hats were a smashing success during the vacation. Uh, a number of guests, as well as characters, constantly stopped us, asking about the hats and wanting to know where we got them so they can get their own. Uh, when they found out I built them myself, so a lot of people suggested that I make my own Etsy page and sell them. Huh. Anyhow, if given a chance to redo the whole build, there's uh, two main things that I would like to change. Uh, number one is the power source. Uh, that lithium ion battery just really didn't stand up to the floor to heat and really didn't seem to fit well with the kids' hats. Uh, if given a chance, I'd rather run a data connection line down to their backpack or something else with some AA batteries to give a little bit longer life. Uh, number two thing I would change is the speaker. It was just not powerful enough to hear the beeps of BB-8 amongst the hustle and bustle of the park during the day. So having a larger speaker maybe positioned in the back of the hat or some other solution, I think would have yielded a little bit better result. Anyhow, if you get a chance to make modifications like this and update the build, I'd love to hear about it. Feel free to leave comments below in the video or reach out to me on social media. 
Anyhow, thanks for your time. My name is Cole McCandless. Now go build something great.